Here we are then at round five of the championship. We've come to Croft for this one. Uh, I'm actually looking forward to this round. Um, I said originally I wasn't, but I'm actually quite looking forward to driving this track. I'm not sure whether I'm going to be any good here at all. I know I didn't used to be on the uh, old R-Factor 1, but we'll have to see, won't we? We had a disappointing res uh, result out of Alton Park, not finishing. With one lap to go due to damage that we sustained. We had wheel issues all the way through it as well, as you've probably seen. So, uh, yeah, it's trying to... Uh, Trying to bounce back now, damage limitation at this round. We've dropped down to sixth in the championship with 41 points behind the championship leader, uh, Nicholas Reese. I never forgot his name then. Don't think we've got any cards coming. The real life BTCC was at Croft this week, where Ash Sutton took a uh, fantastic race one win, followed by two second places. Making uh, all the Subaru boys proud. Well, that's not filling me with confidence. Here's Liam Hawkins. There was a really nasty accident on the weekend in the touring cars with uh, Luke Davenport and Jeff Smith and Aaron Taylor Smith not coming out of this corner but as you turn right here there was horrible contact in the wall over there and uh, all three of them were injured so hope hopefully they're all okay especially Luke, I believe Luke got the most uh, serious injuries of the lot is still in a coma the last I heard. Just goes to show that motorsport is dangerous. This car is going to be a bastard around here. Apparently this is a real wheel drive circuit, but I don't believe it for a minute at the moment. I suppose it's a real wheel drive circuit when you get it right. Which I'm clearly not doing. But as we uh, go on to the qualifying lap then, Let's just get a banker in there. Not doing anything silly. Not taking any prisoners through the chicane. We've got quite a hefty fuel load on board, but I've been doing that in all the qualifying just to level it out a bit, just in case I am quick at some circuits and not at others. That curb felt good force feedback wise. Never know what to do with sunny in and sunny out. I've never been good through there. So difficult to judge. It's different on every sim. Same with this corner. I'm just no good here. The car just wants to step out. Let's go down to first gear. Really turn it in. Six tenths around Liam Hawkins. Fourth. Taking cones for days. I could probably go quicker through that first corner. Oh, need more, more grip. No prison through this game. Giving an absolute death through there. There's a lot of smooth corners where you're accelerating on quite heavy steering lock. So with no, uh, well, with low traction control, it's quite difficult to uh, to manage. You can hear the traction control clicking away, doing that lovely little NGTC backfiring noise, and that's keeping my foot in. I was going to say that's that then, I thought that was going to be the end of the lap, or I was going to lose it, but 
we fight on. Oh, I'm getting all the steering lock on. We're currently down to ninth. Up to seventh. Two tenths of a second quicker that time around than my own. So for the time being, we're seventh on the grid. May as well use the uh, cooling down lap as a nice bit of practice. Still Liam Hawkins on pole position in the Red Bull Civic, though. He's third in the championship as we go to this round. So it goes without saying that the Red Bull boys are leading the championship team-wise. I think Nicholas Reese's lead over Braylon Fisher in the championship is 23 points, so he's nearly an entire win clear. So there needs to be some strange R Factor AI circumstancery going on for Reese to lose that many points at this stage. It's nice to see a bit of variation in the AI, though they're not always the same. There's a few of them that are always near the front. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Let's see how they all get on. Mark Scott currently second. Rafael Boudon's there as well. Reese hasn't been out on track yet, that's interesting. And what we were saying before about AI circumstancery. Reese needs to get a move on and get out of the pits. Because he's not going to have long left to get a lap in. And we've seen before what these AI do is they'll do an outlap, but when the session finishes, a lot of the time they'll just come in because the session's over, so they won't carry on and get the hot lap in. So Nicholas Reese really needs to get doing that. Oh, here he goes now. He must have heard me. Let's see. York Dernhurt's teammate has gone second fastest, though. We've got BMW, BMW, Civic again. Gail Estes, another good showing. Corvo Mueller, that's a good showing in the. Uh, Avensis. Beth Johnson's there as well in 8th. Slipped down to, I think, 14th or 15th in the championship at the moment. Tom Bilstra's up there as always. We're down in 13th place now behind Logan Pierce. But this is the guy we need to focus on now. Championship leader Nicholas Rees. So they've got 1 minute and 45 seconds to go before, uh, before he really needs to actually get this finished. So. I think he'll be okay. The lap time is 1.30. Only 1.2 seconds between the uh, whole field though. So here he goes then. This will be the moment of truth. Marcus Hines is also out there, he's not finished the hot lap yet either. And he may also do the same thing and not actually get a hot lap done. Our teammate Tom Jacobs going sixth. Well in there. Warren Thomas makes it the two hydrographics BMWs on the second row of the grid so far. Marcus Hines goes on to his fault on the fault lap, sorry, hot lap. His Reese on his. Ten seconds of the session to go now. be very interesting to see whether he goes in or whether he completes his hot lap. Session is officially over. Uh, officially. I suppose that could be a word really. Officially over.
Here comes the moment of truth then. Let's see what he does. That's a pit entrance for Nicholas Reese. So, the AI circumstantiary that I spoke about. There it is. Is Heinz going to do the same thing? So the champion's going to be starting 23rd on the grid at best. With his two rivals, although where's Braylon Fisher? Braylon Fisher's down in 13th place. So he's only going to get a few points from that. Very interesting, but Liam Hawkins, pole position, and Heinz is in as well. Where's Gail Estes going? What the hell? Anyway... Let's get on with it. Pretty tame start by everyone. Got James Holloway on our right. Ooh, contact with Pierce. So we're pushing him. I don't know who into or whether there's any, gonna be any issues with anybody at all. Oh wow, hello. That is Braylon Fisher. Championship contender into a solid tire wall and over. It was a nasty nasty accident there. Look at Bilstra down the inside of us pair. This is going to get hairy. Yeah, Bill's good backs out of it. You do that, son. Flick that in a bit hard there. So it's up to 11th place. Interesting thing now is that Braylon Fisher is even further down the order and out of the points. So he's not going to gain anything on Nicholas Reese. But Liam Hawkins will be thrusting himself directly into a position to contend with the championship now. The other Red Bull Civic. Just check. And he's still in the lead. It's the other Citra Civic that's up there though, Jörg Dernhurt. Still in points though, so we're getting some points out of this. We've got Neymar Mueller ahead of us, and then Beth Johnson. Bilstra seems to have dropped off behind us. We seem to be a lot quicker than the AI around there. requires a little lift on something out it seems. Let's not hit that side wall, that was close. He's in from his hairpin. Oh, we don't want to be doing that. I suppose if you did that too hard on the exit you'd probably spin the car. Such a good first corner that is. And this bit's so challenging to keep the car nice and smooth and get the pace out of here through the chicane. Such a challenging track in so many ways. There's fast corners, slow corners, long straights. There's really complex braking zones for things as well where you've got to try and keep the car stable on the brakes while you come into a really awkward corner. Yeah, we've definitely got the legs of the AI around there. Neither Feeling we need to go a bit defensive there. Actually on the brakes, we get into the back of him, but 
It's not unsettled either of us too much. Kind of breaks into Sunny in. But brave, bit stupid. That's cut his nose off a little bit on the end, on the exit there. But we're through. Nice little move, but he's still right behind us. He's looking menacing as well. Understeer. Actually, got a decent exit out of there. Just having a quick check down the order then. Couldn't see Reese anywhere, interestingly. Just gonna scroll, scroll it down on the right while we're going around here. I'm not looking at it though. Okay, now we'll look. Okay, Reese is 22nd, Fisher is 18th. So it seems that Fisher didn't lose that many places from it. Two thirds of the way through. Uh, sorry, a third of the way through. Beth Johnson in front of us. Also known as, yep, the girlfriend. Oh, on the brakes there. Thanks, Beth. trying to make me look good for YouTube. So now we're on the back of, well we're not on the back of at all, we're heading towards the back of Gale Estes while we head into the barriers. Drifty poos. Over killing the tyres. Oh, again, they seem okay. They're up to ninth place and 13th on the grid. Actually, I knew we were 15th on the grid, weren't we? I'm quite happy with that. Six places gained. Hashtag forever forward. Looks like Liam Hawkins is running away from this one now. Let's uh, actually go on the racing line, shall we? So in the championship, this could be quite interesting. Liam Hawkins is going to gain some points on Reese, to say the least. Don't know what that was. I just didn't seem to have any pace around that corner then at all. As we go on to the sixth lap of the race. I expect it to do about 10 or 11 laps. It's really satisfying when you get that right and you feel the clunk of the force feedback as you hit the kerb. Yeah, that's Des. Civic in front of us. Again, highlighting the fact we're so quick around the corner. May not have got the best exit then, but carrying the speed through, we seem to be doing a bit better than the AI. Love the feeling of having to break on opposite lock into that corner. Really on edge in this car. Seems like it's uh, 
case of trying to drift it out of that chicane um, hairpin. But control the drift enough to propel you forwards. Esther's gathering a lot of curve there. Oh, we've got the run out of there. Gale knows it. Playing defensive. Gone for it down the inside. Don't think there's any contact there. Oh no! That does all the hard work Johnson goes through. Get on the brakes through there. Neymar Mueller joining the party from behind. Gigi. Pitt Johnson. Need to keep Neymar Mueller behind us. And Bilstra. Five minutes to go. That got a bit exciting. Now it's Johnson sounds good offensive. BMW very wide. Again, same as last time. It was a bit of a daft manoeuvre, but got done in the end. So we're back up to ninth. Okay, we've only got a few laps to go now. Still not past Gale Estes into the top eight. Cheeky change down to third there just to get a bit more momentum. Let's Oh that little tap just unsettled the car a bit there. Okay, Lester's is really, really slowing down through there. That was strange. Johnson's now right behind us again. Ah, uh, lifting off there, we're not going to uh, gain an advantage because they're doing that. The brake lights are so dim on that Civic. I don't know when he's braking. Oh, nearly. They're still ganging up behind us. Johnson's all over the place. to the back of Estes again. So much drifting. Down the inside. Estes is really slow for some reason. And really defensive for different reasons. You can really see the uh, brake lights of the Civic when we're right behind it then. been a great chase with no result. We had the result a few laps ago but 
I blew it on the exit of here. Let's try it again. Still Leicester stays defensive. One minute to go. That means one more lap. Oh, try not to make contact there and try not to gain an unfair advantage from uh, flying wide. On the brakes, contact. Johnson once again right up behind us. Chucking the car sideways through there. Settled over that bump then. Just can't get the car in the right place at the right time. Have it. Okay, this is coming onto the final lap now. And it's still Liam Hawkins leading the way. Warren Thomas in the BMW is taking second place. It seems. Didn't quite check where Dern Hurt was. Estes has got away a bit, although that bump isn't going to help him over there. Is this the run we need? That Civic's just got the legs in a straight line. Ooh, a bit of room down the inside there. Come on, we've got to find a way through. Why are you breaking there, you madman? No! Tom Bilstra is still down the inside. Then we scared him. Well, that sucks. That battle's end that way. Fair play though, to the AI, that was uh, intense. So it looks like Liam Hawkins takes the win from Warren Thomas, Jörg Dernhurt, Mark Scott, Tom Jacobs, Sergei Korovo, Boudon, Estes, Johnson, Mueller, and then we finish 11th ahead of Bilstra, Pierce, and the last points place goes to Adam Carnu, who gets his first place uh, points place of the season. Now I'm going to go cool down. I'm sweating my tits off. And also, we're going to have a look back at that first lap incident because I want to see that again.